Welcome back to a new bronzed and contoured summer evening makeup look. I'm going to start off this look with the Lancome Energy TV range which is a beautiful hydrating moisturiser just to really create a wonderful base and then I'm moving straight into the Kevin Aquan Celestial Liquid Light just to kind of add that hydrated radiant boost to my skin. Then I'm going to go into the Rodeal Skin Tint. I use the shade number two with this foundation brush, which I'm absolutely in love with. I cannot recommend this anymore. It's so fantastic. It just really helps to disperse the product all over the skin whilst really buffing it in. I've totally fallen for this brush now. I forgot to bring a sponge with me on this holiday, so this was my saviour. Then I'm moving into the Rodeal Concealer. I have shade one and shade two. I'm starting off with shade one just to help conceal and brighten the under eyes and the inner corner and over the eyelid as well, just to create a really kind of perfected base. And then I'll move into shade number two, which will just help to warm up the under eyes again. And I'll also use this shade just to go over any blemishes or any other areas of my face that need a little more touching up. And to set all of that, I'm gonna use the Rodeal Banana Powder, which is my favorite new powder for setting all of the makeup that I've just applied. So I use it underneath the eyes, over the nose, over the forehead. It's just really wonderful to illuminate and brighten all of the skin. And the next powder is the Rodeal Contour Powder. I don't know if you've seen this before, but it is one of the best contour powders on the market. It has the most wonderful grey-brown tone, which makes it so wonderful for the contours of the cheeks, just to give that really natural, enhanced look to the cheekbones. And I'm just using that here with the Rodeal Sculpting Brush, which is great for getting into the hollows of the cheekbones. I'm just working it underneath the cheekbones and then up to the sides of my temples. And all you need to do from here is blend, blend and blend. And for bronzer, this is the new limited edition Clarins Summer Palette. They always come out with the most beautiful bronzers for summer. So I could not wait to use this. It has a really gorgeous kind of coral tone. And you can use a coral shade in the very centre just to use that as a blush as well. So it's a really beautiful colour. I couldn't wait to use this. So I've just gone over the top of the contour just to kind of bronze it up a little bit more. Down the side of my temples, over my forehead. I just want a really bronze goddess look. These are the Galan Meteorites Pearls. So gorgeous. I'm just using them just to go over other areas of my cheeks. I just want to kind of illuminate, highlight, lighten and just set as well. Oh my gosh, this highlighter is so beautiful. It's a brand new one from Illamasqua. I'll leave all details below for all the products by the way here. For that summer holiday glow, this is the perfect highlighter. And then I'm going to move into the Rodeal Blusher in South Beach. A really pretty pink. Very much my kind of colour and just adds a little flush of pink. This new eye pencil from Bobbi Brown is one of my new life saviours. It's in the shade Taupe. All I do is add it all over the eyelids, just draw it on super easy. I'm just going to blend all of that in with the Rodeal Sculpt brush. This is a really great blending brush. And literally blend, 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 blend it out into the crease, blend it a little bit further up towards the brow bone. It's one of those very easy one looks, like one easy finish, but it's really effective. I'm so obsessed with this at the moment. And here I'm just using a smudge brush from Rodeal to use that underneath the eyes and smudge it all the way along my lower lash line. No joke, 25 minutes later after I finished my entire makeup look, I realised that my camera had died. I was so upset about it, but I just thought, let's just kind of continue and I'll show you exactly what I did. So I just took my Illamasqua powder and worked that into the inner corner of the eyes and over the cupid's bow just for a little bit more highlight. Then I went in with the Giorgio Armani Brow and Eye Maestro and the Giorgio Armani Spoolie Brush and worked into my eyebrows. You've probably seen me do this so many times before, but I just fill them in, shape them, make them really nice and pointed and quite sculpted, brush through them with the spoolie. And to set those in place, I'm going to use the Illamasqua Brow Build. It's like a new gel they've come out with. You can just brush it through the brows, it adds a little bit more product and also will keep them set all day. It's a really, really great product. So I'm just using that here just to make them all perfected. And then I'm going to use one of my favourite eyeliners. This is the Ico Eye Do Liner. I'm just using very small little wings just to enhance the eyes but not add anything overly dramatic. Then I'll just use my eyelash curlers just to pump up my eyelashes a little bit more, give them a little bit more curl. 
And then I'm going to go in with the Rodial Glamour Lash Skinny Mascara, which was a really great mascara. It just really helped to separate, elongate my lashes, created a much more dramatic finish to my eyes overall, and I've added them to the bottom lashes as well. And we're back to where my camera cut out earlier. So I can add the lips and I'm using the XXL Lip Liner in Baby. This is a wonderful colour for me. It's my kind of colour, kind of a nudie pink. It draws on really easily and beautifully and you could also fill in the lips with this as well if you like. But I'm going to use one of the new Jouer Lip Colours. So this is the Jouer Lip Cream in Dulce de Leche. I hope I've said that right. It's a gorgeous taupe nude pink, very kind of Kylie Jenner, very much the kind of shade I am loving to bits right now. So I'm applying that all over the lips, but then I decided to add more of a bronzed glow to the centre of the lips, so I'm adding the Jouer Lip Cream in Pamplemousse, dabbing that into the centre of the lips and then just blending it in, just for a bit of a glow and a bit of illumination to the very centre of the lips. And to finish, and to set everything in place, I'm using the new Clarins Fix Makeup, which has become my new favourite setting spray. Really hydrating and it smells beautiful. So that is the finished look, very bronze, contoured, highlighted. It's my kind of go-to look at the moment, so I really hope you like it. And me and Alex are going out for a really lovely meal this evening, so I wore my self-portrait dress with my Chloe Messenger bag in this beautiful tan with the tassels. I just love the colours, it's so cute. And I paired those with a new pair of Jean Vito Rossi sandals in this lovely rich forest khaki green. I love the way the straps go up the legs, very kind of ballerina style. This self-portrait dress is such a winner though. It works for so many more kind of special occasions, events, date nights. It's so beautiful with all the different cutout work. And I also wore my Dior sunglasses just to keep the last of the sunset out of my eyes. And to finish, just because it gets a little more breezy in Santorini at night, I paired it with my Balmain blazer in the black just to add more of a structured finish to the final look. Really, really hope you like this, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon.